Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, the topic of today is about the Kurdish and the Turkish conflict. Uh, you know, we heard the news that the Turkish they launched an attack using what it's called the Free Syrian Army. And actually those Free Syrian Army, they are not nothing much but a bunch of gangs and people who want to make living uh, from, uh, you know, killing and attacking and robbing and etc. But they claim that they are. Uh, you know, people who seek revolution. Now, you know, the the, the issue is, uh, if you look in front of me in the map, you will see the area which is covered by yellow. Uh, this is an area controlled by the Kurdish. <coughs> and actually, it's not only the Kurdish alone. There is a Christian fighters, there's other kind of, uh, but they, they, they have like a, let us say, uh, a unity together, but the majority are Kurdish. Uh, the American, as usual, they don't protect their friends, and this is not the first time. You see, like uh, uh, you know, I thought Trump he will do, he will be better, and he will be smarter. And uh, you know, how you want to fight, you know, the, I mean, the existence of Iran in Syria, but then when your friends they need you, you keep your mouth shut. He did not even say a word. Since the attack started almost 48 hours or 36 hours ago. I mean, so they are your friends when they are fighting ISIS and now you do not need them, you dump them, let them go and die and let the Kurdish die and let the Turkish kill them. I mean, what kind of hypocrisy this hypocrisy is? You see, uh, they, they have a, a, like a United Nations meeting in the Security Council and supposedly to discuss what's happening there, but nobody did anything because simply everybody is a hypocrite. Nobody is willing to sacrifice his relationship with Turkey to help those poor Kurdish. I mean, we do not need them no more. Yeah, we need them, but not much. I mean, who is more important for, for Trump? The Kurdish or the Turkish? Obviously the Turkish. And obviously the Kurdish are taking the wrong friends. For they have no friends. Americans are not going to be your friends, obviously. You know, like this is what happened exactly in Iraq. When in Kurdistan, they announced that they, they would have their independence. What the American did, they stopped watching. And not only that, they start saying, no, we support the governor of Baghdad or the government of Baghdad. So not only they did not support the Kurdish, they took the side of the Iraqi government. So the Kurdish always are the victims of, let us say, uh, you want to call it the Game of the Throne movie? <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. And now you will see the hypocrisy of many of those who they are in the game. So Iran saying, oh, we are against this attack. The Assad regime, which here you see in the map, uh, the map here in the front of us, is controlled by, uh, we zoomed, we need to zoom again, sorry for that, is controlled by the Assad regime. Uh, this, uh, I don't know what happened. Hold on. Yeah, the area in the front of us in red is controlled by the Assad regime or his government, which they supposedly are the official legal one. And the Assad, he said, no, you know, the, the attack of uh, of the Turkish is against, uh, you know, the international law, blah, blah. But the fact he is happy for this attack because, as you see, the Kurdish are occupying almost 20 to 30 percent of um, uh, Syria. And they refuse his offer to have an agreement. Okay, we will give you some rights, but still, you you know you join us and you you wouldn't, because they would not allow them anyway to divide Syria into uh, countries. That would not happen. Uh, not for the Kurdish at least, because Turkey will never allow such a thing to happen. So the the Kurdish they were foolish and they refused the offer. And they do not know that they have a bunch of wolves around them. So the Assad now, he says, I am against this attack. The Iranians said we are against the attack. The Iraqi, they said we are against the attack. The Americans, they said we are against the attack. The Russian, they said we are against the attack. But the fact, all of them, they like the attack because the American, they don't want, uh, sorry, the Russian, they don't want the American to have this huge yellow base 
for them because wherever the Kurdish will be, the American will be. So it's for the benefit of the Russian to shrink the existence, not of the Kurdish necessarily. Their target is not the Kurdish people. Their target is the American. So the Kurdish will shrink by the attack of the Turkish. And then we knew what would happen next. The Syrian regime will attack the area which is occupied by the Turkish and they will take it. And that will extend the, the regime, uh, the Assad uh, uh, territory, and will shrink the Kurdish territory. So the only winner in this uh, conflict actually is the Assad. And, uh, uh, you know, the Turkish, we know that uh, Ardu you know, Erdogan is one of the funny things about Muslims. 99% of Muslims, they love Erdogan. They think he is a hero. This guy is a big fat liar. He is a hypocrite. He's fake. He's not even, you know, this guy, he claimed to be a Muslim, but he never closed one bar in his country. Striptease, prostitution is number one business in his country. He claimed to be very Islamic, recite Quran for them, but there is nobody there care for his Quran. So what is Islamic about his government? We do not know. There's nothing, uh, nothing Islamic. You know, he saw a dream. He will go to Jerusalem and he will free Jerusalem. Okay, Jerusalem is there. Is waiting for you. Why are you attacking the Kurdish? And who is the Kurdish? Aren't they Muslims? Why are you attacking them? So he claimed that he is the hero who, when you know, he defend the Muslim Sunni and the Kurdish are Muslim Sunni. The majority of them. So, the Kurdish, they did not get it yet. That you are fighting alone. An American are not your friends. You know, sadly, I say it. You know, I am an American, I love America, but Americans have no friends. They are business mind people. Russian, they have a friends. Look what they did. They stand with the Assad for the last seven years. They sent their army to support him. They sent tons of airplanes. They dropped tons of thousands of bombs to keep this regime surviving, for he is their friend. There's a huge difference between the Russian and the American. They don't betray their friends. Now the American, they are watching the slaughter of the Kurdish in Afrin. So why you say to them, I want to arm you and I arm you and we want to establish and etc. But you know that the Turkish will not accept that. And they keep saying that to you for more than a year. You know, you know, they knew it's coming. Don't, don't tell me the CIA do not know that this is what would happen. And now the attack is happening. And God knows how many Kurdish already get killed, and uh, and and the Turkish are, sh you know, uh, uh, shilling uh, the city of Afrin. And this city have hundreds of thousands of civilians, and the whole world is silent and quiet. The same exactly what happened during the time of Saddam Hussein. In the beginning, America they saw to them, oh, we are supporting you during George Bush the father. So the Kurdish they took arms and they took the side to fight Saddam Hussein and they join with the American and blah 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 and then suddenly the American they stop helping them and then Saddam Hussein start bombing them by chemical weapon and he kills tens of thousands of people by chemical as they are cockroaches sadly and the American they are watching again so you know the problem is Kurdish did not and they will not learn their lesson you have no friends you have no friends The better way in the future for the Kurdish. If you want to have a real friend, take my advice. Friend with the Russian. American, they have no friends. Even the, the Israeli, I mean, where is the Israeli? The Israeli government did not even open their mouth. You know? Why? Because even the Israeli, they will not risk relationship with the Turkish for the sake of those Kurdish. So the poor Kurdish are left alone. All the promises was given to them before. It was nothing but a dream. It's just to use them. And Trump, he keeps saying he want to fight Iran. Here we go. Iran is there. And those are the ones who they are willing to support you. And what do you do? You sit and you give a blessing to Turkey to go and slaughter the Kurdish. This is why, really, I'm so upset from Trump. He did not even say a word. Or did you hear him saying, talking about saying anything? Nothing. They went blind suddenly because 
they decide to be blind. You know, suddenly, like, you know, the, the, the nice about the American governments always, it doesn't matter which government, liberal or, liberal or, of, uh, or uh, Republican, when they want, they have big eyes and they can see even the needle in the, in the, in the floor. And when they want, they see nothing, they go blind. It's the who is the one doing something bad. If it's the Turkish government killing the Kurdish, it's okay, we go blind. If it is the Assad, no, we open our eyes. So, you Kurdish, if you are a Kurdish and you are listening to me, learn. Find, you know, you always check history. Always check history. Russian, they don't betray their friends, unless their friends betray them first. I know many of you maybe don't like the Russian, but I know them very well. They, you know, I mean, look at this guy, Putin, what he did to protect the Assad, who is their friend. You want to say to me he is a criminal? All of those are criminals. I mean, the, 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 you know, how the NATO accept uh, Turkey to be part of the NATO? How, how Kuwait is our friend, how Qatar is our friend. You know who's Qatar? Number one fundraiser for, for ter terrorists and ISIS and Al-Qaeda. But yet we have the biggest uh, base in the world or, or in the Middle East in, in Qatar. But this is the biggest base of terrorism in the same time. So we go blind when the Prince of Qatar, he do whatever he want, all the fund he sent to ISIS and to Al-Qaeda. And then if somebody, he own a 7-Eleven store, he sends some money to his family in Syria, we arrest him because he is funding terrorists. But the guy who sent billions of dollars every year, he is our friend and we shake hands with him. Actually, Trump himself, he said, you can go and see the video, he said that the Qatar is funding terrorists. And before him, Joe bite me, I call him not Joe bite, you know, Joe bite me, the vice president of Obama. He said that Emirates and Bahrain and Qatar and Saudi Arabia, they are the one who fund Al Qaeda and ISIS. But those are your best of friends. So the American best of friends is based on the interest, not based in, 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 in a friendship. And they can forget about you overnight. The Russian, they don't do that. The Russian, they are consistent. And they keep their promises with you as long you have a promise with them. So the Russian, they are upset from the Kurdish because they choose the American over them as a protectors. And actually the Russian, they were in, Af in Afrin. So the Russian, they said to themselves, well, you know, those guys, they wanna, they wanna give the American the big hand and we are no one for them. So why we wanna fight for them? Otherwise, if they have a good relationship with the Russian, the Turkish will never dare even to shoot a bullet nobody want to play with russia but because the turkish they knew that america will not move against them they launched the attack so i hope the kurdish they will be able to fight and to resist the huge forces coming toward them in the city of afrin and the good thing the good news is the kurdish in Afrin, they have like, uh, it's, it's a mountain area, so it's a very, very easy to defend. However, don't forget that they don't, they don't have airplanes, they don't have like uh, uh, the weapons the Turkish they have, and we are talking about Turkey, you know, Turkey is a country almost of 100 million, and they are just across the border. They do not need to travel for like 10 hours to arrive to Afrin, it's just a few kilometers away. So they are fighting a big force, and not only that, there's 25,000 uh, 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 missionary of, of the what they call them the Free Syrian Army, who are paid by the Turkish to go and fight and kill the Kurdish. 25,000 criminals, additional to the Turkish. So you can imagine how huge the force they are facing. However, I believe that people who defend their houses is very powerful. And always history repeat itself. You know, when, when the German, they went to Russia, and the Russian, they were defending their houses, the citizen of the cities. Like, there is, go and read about history, what, what they did, amazing. When you have your family in, in, in your town, you are not the same as a soldier coming to invade different territory. He have nothing to do with it. So those people, they will fight a fight you cannot imagine. 
And this is why the Turkish, if they try to get closer to the city of Afrin, they will pay a very high price. Taking over Afrin is going to be very costly to Erdogan. It might be Vietnam of Turkey there. So let us see what will happen. And me, myself, I have really, uh, uh, I wish Trump, he will change his mind and he will do something to stop this attack as soon as possible. But you know, as you know, not everything we wish, it come to be true. Thank you for watching and leave your comment. You agree or not, feel free to express yourself. May the Lord bless you all. And I hope and I pray that the Kurdish, they will be able to resist the crime of Erdogan and they will stop him and they will give him and teach him a good lesson about not to invade cities of other people. Thank you and God bless.